So time to put our water tank in. Uh, what we got here is a 95 litre Alco water tank uh, with all the fittings here, hoses, got a sure flow water pump uh, with a little filter on the end here as well, um, a lockable water filler and a bag full of fittings. So we're going to get into that straight away. And here's Bronte. Hello. Here is the filler hose. So obviously the biggest hose that we got coming straight from the lockable filler on the side of the van. Up the top with the smallest hole here is going to be the breather hole. This is the main outlet hose that will run straight back to our kitchen tap. So obviously the outlet hose is going on the bottom of the tank and the breather at the top. And we just have a little on off tap switch here as well. So, very simple, the inlet runs straight to the filler, um, then you'll have this hose here coming from the outlet to our sink. No, restart Timothy. <coughs> uh, very simple, so what we're going to do is run our filler from the side of the car with some water grade hose straight to the tank. Uh, it also has a little breather hole at the top as well which we'll plug in through with this little hose here. From there we're going to run it from the outlet through our water pump and then to our tap. So here's our little water filler. Oh. Good. Are you want to be in it? No. Okay, just a hand. Alright, so here's our little water filler. Oh um, I've gone inside and found it out. Why did you get the Australia Post tube? I just said because it fits this perfectly. What do you mean, fits it? It's the same size. So oh, so cool. Ah. So otherwise, you can measure it? Yeah, otherwise, I'd cut the wonky so. Ah, so it's just a tracing. It's a template. template. Well, you didn't explain that. Alright. Maybe you should explain it because I got confused. <laughs> Alright, so here we have our little water filler. Um, we're just going to mount it to the side of the van here. A little bit higher than what the water tank's going to be so the water can run down into it. Um, we've got a little Australia Post um, cover here that goes on the top of one of those cylinders, which we'll use as a template, which will fit perfectly around here. So that'll be the hole that we cut out. Um, so we're just going to go center of it, which is there. Ish. Draw a little line. This is whiteboard marker, so we can wipe it off once we're done, especially on the outside. Obviously, you won't see the inside, but that's the little hole we'll be drilling.
there you have it. Nice snug fit on it. We'll push it in in a second, uh, but nice snug fit. So run the cable through first. Oh, no. And there you have it. Nice snug fit in there. So what I'm gonna do now is run the plumbing for it. So the breather, by, uh, breather hose and the outlet. So there we have it. Uh, what we're going to do now is run the breather hose and the inlet hose for the tank then we'll mount it in properly so get those two hoses joined in push this one back and we'll be done with this one So what are you doing? Uh, putting it in the hole. You know, I think we don't be educators. We're just take you along the journey with us. Like we're just kind of like, uh, I think this is how we do it. <laughs> Woo! Clearly we're not educators. Gotta make sure we don't mistake in this one with the petrol. <laughs> petrol tank. <laughs> We have so much washing. I'm gonna do three loads. That's the most we've ever done before. <laughs> but when we're in the van, you're gonna have to wear like everything twice. Oh, really? You had so many t-shirts. The biggest problem was how many t-shirts you had. The t-shirts I wear more than twice. Do you? Not more than, no, I don't wear more than twice, but shorts I wear. Oh, okay. So here I'm just using some Sikaflex to mount the water tank to the bottom of the car. After that I'm going to use the mounting brackets that we got online for the specific water tank and screw that to the bottom of the van and that way we should have a very tight hold for it. Holding it by yourself? Yeah. We'll be back in a sec. How long are you going to be? Like one sec, ten. One sec. There you have it, that's the end of our hose system here. So basically from the top, you got the breather hose, the filler, this is the output, so that's gonna run all the way back into our van, to the sink, and this one here, we're gonna connect it so you can run the hot water system directly off this and have water flowing from that. I'm just gonna silicon up the fittings here right along the edges, just to make sure they're extra waterproof and we don't want any leaks, so I'll get onto that now. There you have it. 
not the prettiest job, but it'll just help make sure that it's sealed uh, when all the water goes into it. So, next step for the kitchen is putting our... So, next little step here, what we're going to do is put our tap in. Uh, it just fits perfectly into this corner, which is a nice little fit. So we're going to try find centre of that in the middle. Um, going to drill the hole for it, and then we'll run some plumbing into it sooner. Oh, that was terrible. So next step to the kitchen is putting our feature piece tap in. Uh, so we're going to put it just in this corner here. Um, just fits perfectly. So we'll measure that, find centre, drill a hole into it, uh, and then we'll run some plumbing and water into it later. We don't have any hot water running direct from the tap here, just using cold water for this one, and fits pretty nicely on the top there. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. <coughs> Here's our sure flow pump, so coming in straight from the tank we've got a filter uh, which runs through the pump and then this little machine that we mechanism we put on here is for our water reader so it's basically going to tell us exactly how many litres are running through this system just so we know when we're going to go low on water and when we need to refill. So we're going to mount that underneath our sink and underneath our kitchen this way and basically run it straight up through to the tap up the top. And that's how we added water into a van. Since then, we've added another water tank to keep us off grid a little bit longer. That's pretty much it for the episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of our next ones. If you want to keep up to date with our current travels, be sure to follow us on Instagram at travelingparadise underscore. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.